In this lesson, we learn how to sketch the derivative function from the graph of the function. To sketch the derivative, use the following rules. Turning points plus stationary inflection points correspond to zeros on the graph of the derivative. Where the function is increasing, the derivative is above the x-axis. Where the function is decreasing, the derivative is below the x-axis. Inflection points on the function correspond to turning points on the graph of the derivative. For example, sketch the derivative of this graph. We first mark the turning point. There is a zero directly in line with this on our derivative graph. We make a point on the axis. Now we look at whether the graph is increasing or decreasing either side of this point. Before the point, the graph is going down from left to right. That means it is decreasing. Therefore, our graph of the derivative will be below the axis before this point. After the point, the graph is increasing, which means it is going up from left to right. Therefore, the derivative will be above the axis here. We now draw the derivative through these regions. Since our original graph is a quadratic parabola, the derivative will be a straight line. We start below the axis and on the other side of the point. We go above the axis. Here is our derivative. Here is a cubic. We first mark the turning points and put points on the axis below them on our derivative graph. Before the first point, the graph is increasing, so the derivative is above the axis. Between these points, the graph is decreasing. The derivative is below the axis between these points. Finally, we are increasing, so we are above the axis. The derivative of a cubic will be a quadratic, so we will have a curved parabola between these regions. The point of inflection shown is in line with the turning point. We do not know how high this turning point will be, but it is just a sketch, so it doesn't matter. Here is our derivative. On this graph, we have an asymptote on the y-axis. We therefore have an asymptote directly below on the derivative. There are no turning points to mark. Before the asymptote, the graph is decreasing. After the asymptote, the graph is also decreasing. Therefore, our derivative will be below the x-axis on both sides of the asymptote. We need to look at what the gradient is doing so we can draw it correctly. Here, the gradient starts quite flat, almost at zero, and then becomes increasingly negative as the graph goes sharply downwards. Therefore, our derivative graph does the same, starting almost at zero and becoming increasingly negative. On the other side, the gradient starts very negative as it comes down sharply and then it flattens out, tending towards a gradient of zero. The derivative therefore starts very negative and tends to zero as it goes. We mark the turning points on the axes. We start decreasing. Here we increase. Here we decrease. Here we increase. Our derivative of this quartic will be a cubic. The derivative starts coming up. 
the inflection point is in line with the turning point. We guess at how high up it is placed. Here is another inflection point, so the turning point is in line with it. Here is our derivative graph. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.